Introducing first of all, quarterfinal number one. He is maybe the greatest combination fighter, the man with the speed. He's also the smallest fighter in the lineup, but he's got a huge heart. Let's give it up for Russia's own Ruslan Karayev. <laughs> His opponent, he doesn't need an introduction. Former K1 World Heavyweight Champion, runner up last year at the Grand Prix. I'm talking about the sucking Moroccan. Let's give it up for Bada Hari. They have fought twice before. They are one and one at the moment in 2006 in Osaka. It was Ruslan Karayev stopping Bada Hari in the first round. And then the rematch 2007 in Yokohama. It was Bada Hari knocking out Ruslan Karayev. The rubber match is on Saturday night, but more importantly, who will go through from quarterfinal number one? Bada Hari from Mike's gym. Ruslan Karayev out of Team Golden Glory. Thank you, Bada, and thank you, Ruslan. Let's give him another round of applause. Quarterfinal number two, introducing our first fighter. He is a former Pride mixed martial arts star, current star of Dream mixed martial arts. He has taken the K1 world by storm over the last month. I'm talking about the man who the fans have dubbed Uberim. Let's give it up for the demolition man, Alistair Overeem. <laughs> And his opponent from Brazil, the ninth World Open Kokushin Karate Champion, Everton Teixeira. This will be the first time that Alastair Overeem and Everton Teixeira have fought each other. Alastair Overeem from Team Golden Glory, Everton Teixeira from Team Ichigeki. Thank you, Everton. Thank you, Alistair. That is quarterfinal number two. Quarterfinal number three on the B side of the draw. From France in his 11th K1 World Grand Prix appearance, Jerome LeBanner and his opponent, the three-time champion, the only man to ever win the K1 Grand Prix three times consecutive. I'm talking about the high tower from Holland. Let's give it up for Semi Schultz. Ladies and gentlemen, just to inform you, Jerome Labana will be arriving in Tokyo tonight. Due to his flight coming in a little late, he'll be arriving in Tokyo tonight. Will Jerome Labana, as he gets set to take on the high tower from Holland, as Semi Schultz. Semi Schultz, a three time consecutive K1 World Grand Prix champion, 2005, 2006, 2007. He also holds second fastest ever K1 World Grand Prix victory. 11 minutes and 56 seconds, Semi Schultz. And the last of our quarterfinals, introducing first of all the man with cannonballs in his hands. I'm talking about the Netherlands' own bone crusher, Errol Zimmerman. <laughs> His opponent, the champ is here, the three-time and defending K1 World Grand Prix champion, the flying gentleman. Let's give it up for Remy Bonjuski. Remy Bonjaski, three-time K1 World Grand Prix champion, 2003, 2004, 2008. Errol Zimmerman making his second appearance in the K1 World Grand Prix.
a staring contest. Let's give it up. Come on. Make some noise. <laughs> That's how they roll Golden Glory style. <laughs> okay, we are going to hear from each of our fighters. First of all, let's call to the microphone Roslan Karayev. Roslan, to the podium, please. Roslan, your third time facing Bada Hari. What's going through your mind? What are your thoughts on facing Bada for a third time on Saturday night? Да, чувствую себя очень хорошо. Очень рад, что встретился еще раз с Бада Хари. Мне нравится, как мы проводим с ним бой в такой агрессивной системе. И я, в принципе, очень рад. Покажу хороший бой. И Сандо мо Бада Хари то я говорю, это очень радостно. Бада Хари то на сцене я всегда агрессивна сцене, поэтому мата сону я на сцене я увидела это кото га тотому радостно. Well, I would like to say it is my honor, and I'm really happy to be facing this third match against Barahari. I know that every time I fight against him, it, it becomes an aggressive fight. So the tomorrow fight, uh, for sure, is going to be another aggressive one. Let's give him a round of applause, Roslan Karayev. Okay. And let's call Barahari to the podium. Mata Hari, welcome. I'm just going to leave it to you, brother, because you've always got a few words to say. How are you feeling in preparation for Saturday? Uh, I feel very strong, you know. I trained very hard. Uh, I feel very confident. You know, I've been in this tournament now for the third time. Uh, last year was almost. Now I will try to finish it. Uh, Kariev is always a, a very good opponent. He's a quick fighter. He puts uh, the pace very high in the fights. So uh, it will be a good fight for the audience, and uh, I hope it will be an epic bout because uh, I signed for those bouts, and this is one of it. And uh, we're going to show uh, the audience tomorrow that it will be an amazing fight. So uh, I'm looking forward for tomorrow. Who's? So this is まあ、あの明日に向けての準備ですけれども、準備はいいです、えー、自分自身、大変ストロング、強いあの自分自身でいるという感覚があります、えー、練習も一生懸命してきました、ですので自信満々です、えーまあ、3回目のカラフ選手との対戦ということなんですけれども、まあ、去年はですね自分の目標とする戦いにあと一歩というところでしたので、明日はきっちり結果を示していきたいと思います、えー、見ている方にとっても、ですね明日はとてもいい,い,い試合、またあの、まあ、いろんな意味でですね大きな意味合いを持つ試合になると思います、えー、自分が今まで約束してきたあ、まあ、大きな試合を明日は実現したいとそういう気持ちでいます Thank you, Bada. Okay. Let's call Alistair Overeem to the podium Give him a round of applause, Overeem Alistair, welcome to your first ever appearance in the K1 World Grand Prix. How have you shaped up? Interestingly, yesterday, the odds were released by our Vegas bookmakers for the K1 Grand Prix. You are listed as the second favourite with the bookmakers to win the Grand Prix. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel good. Um, usually, I don't uh, count on the odds. I just focus on myself, as I always do. So, I've been training uh, hard, feeling 110% and uh, really excited about tomorrow. Alistair, I also wanted to uh, ask you, you came out a few days ago and you proclaimed that mixed martial arts is harder than K1, which I know stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest, particularly with some of the other fighters here who are pure K1 fighters and don't come from a mixed martial arts background. Is that still your feeling, that you say mixed martial arts is harder than K1 and that you're going to run through this tournament on Saturday night? Well, this tournament is a new thing for me, so uh, I can't judge about the tournament thing. But I can judge about MMA fights and K1 fights because I'm the only fighter here who have done both except from Sammy Schild. So I would say that other fighters who have not done MMA, have not participated in it on the highest level, they can judge about it. And just one uh, clarifying factor there, Alistair. We did have a chat yesterday. What was the time that you gave for any K1 fighter to get into a mixed martial arts arena with you and last against you? How long would you give 
any K1 fighter under MMA rules to last against you? Well, I challenge any of these fighters, any K1 fighter to come step in the, in the octagon or the ring with me. I'm going to give them two to three minutes and I'll finish them. Easy. Them fighting words! え、実はですね、人気投票で誰が勝つかという投票において、え、オフレム選手2位の投票結果だったんですね。これに対してはあの、ま、そういった投票を当てにするわけではないですけれども、投票通りにま、試合展開が進むわけではないですけれども、
né? Então, uh, o que eu fizer amanhã é o que vai fazer diferença, né? O que as previsões não, não para mim não fazem diferença nenhuma. É, Everton Teixeira, Sancho, dois do menos no Sancho, né? É, então, com o no torneio de a bookmaker no aí da de a Offering Sancho a dois des ga, eu sou de a anata a é então, sai cai na tema que do, sono hen wa dou moimasu ka? É então, sou desse né, shiai nitsuite wa a no ringu jo de tatakatte minai to nan tomo iemasen no de, é então, zehi minasan asu tanoshimi ni shitoite kudasai. Well, replying to the question of um, uh, your opponent uh, had uh, rank number two in the uh, previously conducted uh, survey as to who becomes the championship, uh, who becomes the champion, and you are uh, actually ranked uh, last. So, how do you feel about it? Uh, my uh, comment, uh, replying to that question, uh, says uh, Tishera, uh, is that um, you know the result of a bout is really to be discovered only after the bout. So you shall uh, focus upon what we do on the ring tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a gentleman. Let's give it up for Everton Tishera. Thank you, Everton. He's making his return to the K1 Grand Prix. He wasn't there last year. He's again here on Saturday night. I'm talking about the Triple K1 Grand Prix champion, the only man to ever win it three times consecutive, the Hightower from Holland, Simi Schultz. Sim, welcome back to the Grand Prix. You went there last year to defend the crown that you last held in 2007. I know this means a lot to you to be back here again going for the crown in 2009. How have you prepared for it? I think I had a very good preparation and uh, I'm ready for it. And uh, tomorrow you're going to see a good fight. Semi, one more question before you go. Jerome Labana is arriving tonight at 7 p.m. What are your thoughts on Jerome arriving less than 24 hours before he's scheduled to fight you? Does it show something about Jerome to you or is it a show that Jerome maybe is taking you a bit lightly by coming here only less than 24 hours before he fights you? Yeah, it's his choice. And I think he, uh, he don't want to be at the press conference. He's not even in the country. Let's give it up once more for Semi Schultz. え、まあ、どう、3回連続チャンプということで、そういうカンブリオを守ってのあの対戦ということですが、どうですかという質問に対しまして、ま、準備はとても整っています。え、また明日 Thank you, Simi. Let's call to the microphone the bone crusher, Errol Zimmerman. <laughs> Errol, welcome back to the Grand Prix for the second time. You're taking on the champ. You asked for it at the draw in Korea, you got it. Why did you choose to face the defending champion? <laughs> because I think I can beat them. Uh, I was training really well, so I should see it. And uh, yeah, Saturday I will uh, break some bones, I hope. あの、2回目のグランプリということですが、韓国で自らこの組み合わせを選んだということです。どうしてでしょうという質問に対しましては、え、もう倒せる。その確実な自信があるからですということ答えでした。え、トレーニングもしっかりやってきましたし、明日は
まあ、の対戦相手のレミ選手はですね独特の,そのスタイルでですね、えー、よく、まあ、相手の選手にフラストレーションを与えるというふうに言われてますけれどももうあの,あの手この手、えー、足でだめなら手で打って手でだめなら足で打てで、えー、明日はしっかり結果を出していきたいと思いますので大丈夫ですというお話です。Thank you, Lyrul. Let's call to the podium the three time and defending K1 Grand Prix champion, Remy Bunjaski. <laughs> Remy, always fantastic to see you at the Grand Prix. Errol says he's going to come to break your bones tomorrow night. It's very hard, hard for someone to land a clean shot on you, though, Remy. What's the game plan going to Well, no, you're not going to reveal the game plan. That's a silly question. But, you know, you answered the challenge from Errol. He called you out of the draw. You went straight to him. You had no hesitations in fighting Errol? No,、um, I didn't have any、uh, hesitation to fight、uh, Errol. Errol is a strong fighter. He's young. And he's、uh, capable of、uh, even doing my own flying kicks. He copied、uh, that from me. But it's no problem. <laughs> That's, that's no problem.、Uh, we will see at the fight.、Uh, I believe he's a strong fighter, so I don't underestimate him. And,、uh, well, you could see it at the, at the stare down just a couple of minutes ago. We are willing to show the. the <laughs> we really I want to show the audience that、uh, that's going to be a hard fight. Remy, another question. You are the defender of the faith, so to say, of K1. You're the K1 champion, you're the poster. Fighter of K1. You were pretty pissed off recently when Alistair came out and said that mixed martial arts is harder than K1 and that he's going to steamroll through the opposition on Saturday night. I know that you took that very personally because you're the biggest flyer of the K1 flag and defending K1's honor. Well, to all the other、uh, fighters in,、uh, in K1, I want to make this clear that、uh, it's not only me that has to defend the.、Uh, The, the name of K1. I believe that、uh, Alistair is coming into our game and is、uh, trying to take it as a part time job. He's, he's like, hey, I'm going to take the crown and leave to the MMA. I want to say to all the fighters that, over here that、um, it's going to be embarrassing if、uh, Mr. Alistair over him wins the K1 trophy and t a k e it away from us. So,、uh, guys, Beat Alistair, please. <laughs> <laughs> the champ, let's give it up once again, Remy Bunjaski. Oh, just a moment, Miho. Alistair, please. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Let's hear from Alistair now, folks. まあ、の明日の試合ですね、まずあのちょっとここで、先ほどの発言、簡単にお伝えしたいんですけれども、まあ、レビー・ボンヤスキ選手から、えー、この試合を受けるにあたってためらいはなかったかということに対しては、ですねためらいは全くなかったと、まああのー、対戦相手、ロール・ジマーマンは若くて強くて、そしてまたコピーの上手な選手である、えー、僕のフライングキックもすっかりコピーしているけれども、全く問題なしだよと、明日はその結果をちゃんと見てもらうよという話がありました。それからミックスマーシャルアートと K1 とではミックスマーシャルアートの方が難しいよという話に関してはこれを守らなければいけないのは K1 のプライドとしてですね自分の責務であるしまた全ての選手の責務であると思います他流試合をパートタイムでやろうなんていう軽い気持ちの人にですねトロフィーを奪われてしまっては K1 のプライドが立ち行きませんのでぜひ皆さん K1 選手力を合わせてオフレームを倒しましょうという発言でしたがさてそれに続いていかがでしょうか。Alistair. Seems to me that a lot of people. Hold on, quiet, please, everybody. Let's see what Alistair has to say. Come on. Quiet, please. Let's hear what Alistair has to say. Without、uh, disrespecting other K1 fighters, because I, actually I like K1. I'm a K1 fighter myself right now. I started with kickboxing.、Uh, I think there's a lot of gentlemen up here who are a little bit afraid of me. And、uh, <laughs> do your best. I wish all of you luck. No, no. K1 に対してですね、えー、K1 に対するまあ損意を私があこう損なっているとか。K1 を軽く見ているとかそういうことでは全くないんですね、もちろん K1 は大好きですし、今、この場にいる私は K1 の選手としてこの場にいるわけですから、まあ、初めはキックボクシングでしたけれども、K1 の,その精神というのは自分の中にもちゃんと浸透しています。えー
こんなふうにです、ね、みんなが自分の発言にこう反応を示してくれるのは実はあみんな自分のこと私のことをです、ね、怖がっているからじゃないかなという気がします。アリステ、ホールドン、アカンジュスレッタゴー、ビコーズ、ユカンツォー、コメント、ライタン、ノーエンスレッド。ウディフィンクスアフレイディフィーウィンスアフレイディフィーウィンスアフレイディフィーウィンスアフレイディフィーウィあのボヤスキー選手がですね、K1 選手の皆さん力を合わせて、えー、やっつけましょうと言ったのは自分一人ではやっつける自信がないからかなと思います。Since you've been in the K1, I'm the only one who's beaten you. You went down against me, so bring it up. Bring it up. あの悪いけれども過去対戦でどんな結果だったか覚えてますか。リングに沈んだのは君だったよね。You can feel the tension in here. Where are all the Alastair Overeem fans in here? Who are the Alastair Overeem fans? Overeem fan no sto. Where are all the Remy Bonjaski fans? Bonjaski fan no sto. What about Bada Hari fans? Okay, folks, it is time to throw the questions to the floor and our media. I do specify media only. If you have a question, not for all of our fighters, for one fighter, please do not ask group questions. One fighter only, one question per reporter. State your name and organization, simply raise your hand. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next question.